back to crafting and once again we are using a poker chip as the base get that roughed up now what I'm going to show you how to do today is a simple cairn C-A-I-R-N and it is basically a pile of rocks but I strongly suggest that you google it because there is an awful lot of info on what canes can and can't be used for on there that in terms of your D&D &D games you may find useful so for example oh and yes it's the the angled cuts because I'm going to be using a bit of uh, hot glue on here um, so yes normally found at the top of hills in modern times so if one of your party members is climbing a hill or mountain and remembers to pick up a stone from the bottom they should probably get a plus five bonus on their climb rolls because that's the tradition excuse me one second while I chamfer the edges off another thing which I didn't know is that in Scotland warriors before they went into battle would put up a pile of stones when they came back from battle they would each pick a stone out and the ones that were left were obviously the dead people and that would be used to build basically a memorial for them so there you are a cane could be sign of an ancient battleground which means there is the possibility of undead being around so loads of applications let's face it if you put a pile of stones in front of your party it's going to hold them up for a little while while they work out what its significance is now I am going to hack into this just a little bit more because it is going to be sort of like on a, a rocky type ground so it's not going to be regularly circular right let's get that cleaned up give it a rough back over with the sandpaper okay and I fired up the hot glue and essentially what I am now going to do is just build up the centre area because it is a pile and while yes I could just pile stones on there this makes it just that wee bit quicker in terms of construction right I'll let that set for a couple of seconds while I go and get some stones so I've got my collection of stones and I have broken out the ADOS glue I'm using this because it's got a little bit more contact power yes I have had problems with this in the past with warping stuff but this is all really rigid material so I am hoping that I'm not going to run into the same kind of problem and I am just going to use a lolly stick to smear some in place and I'm going for round stones so I've got some round and some angular I want the round stones at the bottom and the good thing about ADOS is that basically you just kind of pop it in place and it will hold it there pretty much straight away and I'm just going to build up over that mound I'm keeping the angular ones because we are going to want to stack some at the top and we're going to use super glue for that and a f sort of flat surface is going to help the super glue to form a decent surface area to bond with so I will get on with building this up and do remember to try and sort of like interlock them where possible right and just use a wee bit of pressure to try and get that top a bit flatter because we're then going to start building up from there right super glue time so they're the big round stones and what I have here I think this was uh, fish tank gravel so it's more sort of chippier and sort of you know angular and what I'm going to do with this sort of oh, let me find one kind of gaps maybe there I'm just going to use a dab of super glue and then sort of insert that just to give it a wee bit more interest but to cover over those obvious gaps and it's a bit like making a jigsaw puzzle to be perfectly honest because all you're trying to do is find something that will actually fit in the hole all right now that's starting to make it look a little bit more interesting and a bit more full now I am going to start building it up on the very top there right so we've now got a, a nice full base there and I am going to swap to some of these larger angular stones and we're just going to put them straight up in a spire and I've got a relatively flat one there and that is going to act as the sort of anchor base on which all the rest are built up on and then we're just going straight up 
Now you may need to take this in gentle stages just to make sure that sort of one level dries before you try putting the next one on. And I think that is probably going to be about as high as I take it because it is starting to look a wee bit on the precarious side. But I want to have one more large stone on the top like that. And then that one just on top like that. Please stay there. And then we have one standing just upright and pointy on the very top just to cap it all off. And I will let that dry for a couple of minutes and then address just a little bit of detail on the base and it can go off for a spray paint. Last little bit of crafting before painting just where there's the exposed sort of flat area of the base. I'm going to put a little bit of ground cover on and I've got some watered down PVA. Don't read too much about the colour of that because I did have paint in, in that particular bottle cap but we don't mind that too much and I'm just getting in between those bottom rocks and then dip this lot into builder sand, give it a shuffle around trying to keep the pressure off that spire because it's likely to be a bit on the fragile side and then we'll just tap the excess off, give that a chance to dry and I'll take it off for a spray paint. Let's face it, you don't get too much more simple than gluing a pile of rocks on a base. But it will hold your party up, I can guarantee it. Because let's face it, if you've made it, it has to be important. Very final stage, and do be careful with this. It is just a dry brush with a lighter grey, and I'm being oh so careful because I don't know what the strength of that super glue bond is. Just on that spire there, make sure I've caught all the nice angles. So don't just dry brush in one direction, because you do want to uh, get all the detail standing out, and then I can go a wee bit faster around the bottom and out onto the base as well. And of course, do make sure that you catch that ground cover that you've put on down at the base and make sure that stands out a little bit as well. And you know what? I reckon that is job done. Such a simple piece of terrain that everybody should make one. So go ahead, get on with it. But before you do, please hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you tomorrow with something different. Bye for now.